Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In today's episode, of course, we're still at Kakariko Village. There are some ruins to explore, but I have a feeling that like, I've gotten a little too sidetracked. I really wanna go through Lanairu Wetlands and get over to Zora's Domain. I feel like the more we get through the main quest right now of getting things done with that, uh, the better off we'll be. Cause obviously there's some stuff here that we'll need to do eventually. So if we focus on what we're supposed to do for now, I think everything else will sort of fall in place correctly. So I think that's what we wanna do. We wanna make our way over to, um, like I said before, Lanairu's Wetlands and to get a little bit over there sooner, I think we'll just go to this one shrine and we'll hop into it. We'll try to get through all of the swamp there and we will be mostly focused on getting to Zora's Domain in today's episode. That's my big goal. So hopefully we can make it happen. So we're right here at the very beginning of this whole area. We explored a lot of this a few episodes ago, but I guess my goal is just to sort of head straight down. You can see there's a ton of enemies waiting for us, but there's a pathway that sort of leads through it um, that I think we can see right over there. So I think if we follow that, we might just be able to discover some fun stuff. If not anything else, it'll just be fun to walk through. So, some horses around here too. There's a lot to do in this area, and I'll try not to get too crazy distracted by it, but there's this little ruins of a village that we should start with, because there could be like a well or something over there. Those are always worth finding, so we'll get tool in to push us a little bit farther as we make our way here. Oh yeah, there is a well. So let's get started with this one. Right here, this is the Lanayu Wetlands Well. All right, I'm down this way, and what was that? Oh, you, this place. Hi, do I know you, Traveler? Did you know that if you put your ear to a well, you can hear the wailing of the dead? Or so they say, anyway. That's scary. <laughs> wow, heroes really do know a little bit about everything. And guess what? You'll be joining those wailing dead very soon. Wait, <laughs> no way, your life is mine. They're back? They are back. Uh-oh, can I get a picture of you actually? No, wait, no! <laughs> Hold on, let me get a quick picture. Don't kill me yet. No, ah, ah, wait, wait. There we go. <laughs> oh man, I didn't know we'd run into them in this game, but we got the Yika Foot Soldier. They're back to their old stuff, I guess. I don't know. Okay, hold on. Ooh, Tolan with the sneaky shot. Let me get something stronger out here with this Blue Moblin Pounder. And we'll see if we can't finish you off. Oh, there we go. That is so cool that they're back though. And they dropped their own Eightfold Bleed, which obviously we just got last episode. Oh man, that's crazy. I didn't really know whether to expect them or not, but you know, we've been so busy with everything else that I hadn't even thought to really question it. That's so cool. So what happens if I combine an Eightfold Bleed with another Eightfold Bleed? We got the eightfold blade blade. <laughs> All right, shouldn't it be the eight eightfold blade blade? Oh, we got another one here too. Okay, Um, what if I combine it with this? Would that even work? Oh, this thing's already fused, so I guess not. Um, Anyways, that's really cool and all, but we got some extra stuff to get in here. That's so neat that it looks like, you know, the Yiga clan are back and they're gonna be attacking us too. We'll have to be careful about the different travelers we talk to, huh? But it can be worth taking them on. Is there anything else to really do in here though, I wonder? So far not seeming like it, but it's still another well discovered, which is always a good thing. Yeah, I don't see too much more else to do here. So we'll just ascend back up from where we came and continue on our adventure, but a cool start for sure. We gotta go over this way now. We see anything else to grab, you know? Some Hyrule herbs, some Arboranth. Those are always good to get. This place might, Sort of leads to like, you know, new plants. These aren't really, but is that a bird over there? What is that? Oh yeah, it's a cute little duck. The blue chested duck. I do see a shrine as well as a, uh, another one of those whiz robes or whatever they are. And some, some Lysel. So lots of enemies to fight in today's episode, which is great because we really didn't do much fighting last episode. Last episode was a lot of just sort of reading what different characters have to say. We had a couple of different things like that. So yeah, let's try to slice it out. You, hold on. Whoa, there's too much going on. I'm gonna get rid of you and then slice at your friend. There we go, tool and finishing them off. Grab that Lizophos horn, back over here. We have the tail, which I don't know if I could take a picture of the tail, I can't. Okay, back to the rock hammer just to break open some more of this stuff. Didn't seem like they had too much here, but I guess we'll grab what we can and keep moving. Whoa, look at you, you're new. This is a water buffalo. <laughs> cool, very fun shot of it too, just grazing. Awesome, definitely want that. And 
what else is going on? We're just sort of following this main path for now. I feel like this is the smartest thing. But what is under that rock? There's clearly something under this, right? You can sort of see it. I wish there was sort of the opposite of an ascension where we could go down. It's hard to sort of see what's in there, but maybe there's an opening on this side. There is. Uh, oh, there's a chest in there, I see it. So, we hop back out here. I can go like this. Should just be able to grab it and pull it out here. Hey, come on. <laughs> Guess I can't do it that way. Grab it again. Get a whole lot closer. Much better. Now I can open it, and inside we get three hydrants. Of course, Zonai devices. Always good to see those. Don't know when we'll exactly need them, but you never know. And as we're heading closer to Zora's domain, you never know what we might run into. It's another bright chest duck over there. These are all pretty familiar animals, so we don't really need to take too many pictures of them. And we do have a lot of these guys over here. I don't know if I'll go too far out of my way. Because it looks like you know, there's a lot of islands. The West Island, Gapanga Island, Shrine Island. Is there a shrine on there? I would hope so. Uh, but we're at the Gapanga Village Ruins. I need to reach my friend. Oh no, little Korok. I'll help you out, buddy. All right. Hi. Oh, my friend and I got separated. Way over there? My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired though, I can't move. So we're here on the Gapanga Island. It was, it was that way, I think. Yeah, that looks like it's off by the Merkei Island, which had a shrine on it. So we'll definitely do that soon. I might leave you here, and we should explore some of these for sure. Was there a new plan over there? Oh no, no, it's the same plan as before, but I could still use some more splash food, I'm sure, eventually. If it gives us more swimming stamina, I think it does, that will definitely be useful. Speaking of stamina, we got some more of that last episode. It looks like there's a bunch of Pokemon out on this island. So I'll have to deal with all this. Oh no, there's a boss there too. So I'm sure there'll be plenty of good stuff to find around here. That usually is the case whenever you find chunks of stuff like this. But there are the smaller islands that certainly have other things. I mean, for right now, they're not protecting this area, so might as well open up the treasure chest, see what we can get. Inside of this one is a red rupee. Awesome. And over here, we get five arrows. I'll definitely be using them against that boss in a moment. But I might as well steal all their supplies first and then fight them. They're marching over. What do they have on their sword? I don't know. Oh, it's a mushroom. What do you think you're doing? Uh-oh, here they come. Uh-oh. Luckily, it's just normal Pokemon, which we handled pretty well. Oh yeah, if I could get, oh no, you're coming over too? Boom, that got at least somebody, right? I hope so. The game is lagging out with how much we're fighting at the moment, so let's just try to do what we can. Oh, there we go. Oh no, I missed you. Our Eliza bow broke. We're not out of the fight just yet. I see you over to my side trying to sneak up on me. I don't appreciate it. All right, come on. I'm hopping way up, and then I'm just gonna get you so good like that. Boom. One more time should do the trick. There it is. Don't forget about your little buddy over here. Hey! That is very dangerous. There's a lot happening right now. Oh man, but we got you. So they had a yellow choo-choo jelly here, which of course electrocutes you. Very scary. Okay, whoa, I don't need that. <laughs> Didn't really mean to pick it up. Oh, because I dropped my Lysol blade. So toss it out of the way. Grab this and grab all this food too while I'm at it. Nice, we're getting a lot of goodies here for sure. Oh, and there's another well. So this is the Zaz Island well. So it seems like there's probably gonna be a well on each of these islands. Oh no. Is it gonna be what I think it is? The last time we were in a situation like this, there's a giant monster under all this. Will that be the case this time? I should probably eat food. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about this, we should fill our tummies. Uh, What do we wanna eat then? I could just do that, just so that we're a little bit farther up in our health. And then just eat one of those. Basically at full health now. I might wanna use something else. Oh no, here we go. So you know what, what if I were to take out device, just give it a little swipe and then run for the hills. Okay, run. Oh, it's gonna explode. Oh, that did get rid of a good chunk of it. There's still so much more to get rid of here. We know what this is. We've seen it before. It's a Sonox or whatever it's called. 
I think it's still on us. We definitely need to make up some more space for it though. Uh, you think it would be more thankful with us freeing it that it wouldn't attack it straight away, but that's exactly what it'll do. I guess I'll just get out the next thing. Got the stone talus hammer over here. And that's what this is for, right? Breaking it free a little bit more. Oh man. It's sort of a chore to get you free, buddy. I guess I could take some of the weapons right now, though. I don't wanna be so bad. So what is this one, then? This is, not the Stalinox. I want the sword. Can't quite pick it up. It's a Knight's Claymore. A Claymore now decayed, once carried by Knights of Hyrule. It resonates with the desire to protect at all costs. Can, and can yield powerful attacks when you're down to your last heart. That's cool. There's still so much more to break here. I think I'm going to use a bomb arrow just because I want to cut down on some of the labor here. We have 15 of them. That definitely helps. There's still more to do. Um, got it. You're still stuck in there? One more time. That's gotta be it, right? You are still very stuck. You think I'd just be able to, oh, I can. Oh, I can, here we go, uh-oh. So I guess if we just reveal the head, maybe that's enough. Oh, I didn't quite get you in the eye there. Uh, come on. One more time. But we got a really powerful powerful weapon from you last time, the Stonox Spasher. Maybe we could use this and get another one from it. Okay, here. This seems to be working pretty well. Uh, now we gotta run, because we are very in a very dangerous spot if we're under you like that. Ow, hold on, hold on. Get back up, not this. All right, shoot ya. Right there. Oh, that's gotta hurt. We're gonna fall back down. I'm gonna go as crazy on you as I possibly can. But it really wants me to focus on the eye, which is just hard to do from this angle. We're in trouble again. Uh-oh. Gotcha. That was a tricky shot for sure. All right, help me out. Boom. That at least got rid of more of the rocks. I gotta use him more often. I forgot about that. There we go. Got you more than halfway down now. A huge slam. Oh, that actually hurt him too. All right, right there. So we need to go and get the eye, quick. How many times do we have to hit this thing? It seems like a lot. So maybe I want to switch over to a weapon that I can swing faster. No, you don't, no, you don't. Ah, oh, darn. So you're gonna get your health back? How does this work? Your, your health is back. Oh no. Uh, I need to back up. I mean, luckily they're going after my friend, so it gives me a little bit of space to work with here. So if I can just go crazy on you, knock you away from the body, you can't really do much, can you? And this is what I did before, and it sort of worked, but, oh no, it's coming, it's coming. Is this working? I can't tell, hey! Because I just sort of wailed on it before. That's what I did last time, but I don't know if it's gonna work this time. Is this like really right? Okay, there it goes, there it goes! We got it! Oh man, what a fight. Very cool, and it should drop all those weapons too. So, look at all the rewards we get from this one. All right, so we get a Hinox Tooth, another one, and this Stonox Horn, which this is the big thing. You can't really, uh, oh no, you can't take it like that. I could just hold on to it for now, because it gives 29 fuse attack power. We got this Knight's Claymore, which is nice. It's super powerful. We also got the Knight's Halberd, which I've gotten before, but it's a, it's a pretty high damage weapon. I have a lot of high damage weapons right now. I feel like we need to start using this one, one more. Just so I can get through it a bit more. I'll leave the Knight's Halberd for the moment. Was there any other weapons? I guess not. Anyways, you know, but would you wanna help with breaking some more of this? Cause I totally forgot that you can. It's obviously not the most, but it's something. So if we just wait for that to restore, I can at least destroy more of this. But I think that's gonna be it for this well. Come on, Yenobo. Get back up if you can. <laughs> Ready, and we'll just do a little bit more. I don't need to get every little bit of it after all. It's just most of it I'm trying to get to. But there is opals and stuff in it for us, but we can get those everywhere. I don't think there's anything else left to do in this well, so we are just going to ascend upwards and try to get to some of the other islands, because to me it seems pretty clear that there's probably gonna be more wells or things like this to discover on the other islands. We have a lot of enemies to fight then. This is gonna be a long episode after all. Ooh, what is this? Roasted bass boomerang, huh? Weird thing to combine it with. And a couple of apples. All right, I got one, get the other. And then this, which for right now, I mean, I guess I just had the stone talus hammer, which now is badly damaged. A little bit worried about that. 
but I think <laughs> I'll head back over to the island we were at before, because that seems to be everything for Zala's Island. There's also West Island. Maybe we should try that one now. I mean, clearly it just seems to be you. I don't know if we need to physically walk on islands to like discover them, because I, I watched on Zala's Island here and it didn't seem to do anything for us, you know? I mean, I say that, but now we're at Kapanga Village Ruin, so. That's the island I think I'm looking at, yeah. So let me just try going over there. If it goes like, hey, you discovered something, then I'll be actually sure to walk over everything, but I don't think you will. Ready, and, oh, I missed you. Okay, yeah, I'm on top of this island. As you can see, not much is happening. I'll fight you, because you know, it could be fun to you, but I already have an electric thing. I don't really think I need it. Gotcha and then I will just try to super slam you if I can. Yeah. Oh, that was pretty good, but I need more. Hold on, uh, maybe I could just hit you with this a little bit. Can't quite reach. Tulin was able to get it. Come on, you're kidding me. Ah, this is so silly. Just hit you with, ah, oh, come on, you're kidding me. Hey, what are you doing? We got this guy too. Too much to deal with at once. I know you're gonna pop up right over here. Gotcha, so you're dealt with. Will you drop anything cool or will it just be that? Looks like it's just gonna be that. So, you over here, is this a new kind of octo? Ow, rock, I guess not. Is this the kind that will eat my weapon? Because I know some of them will. I don't think this is the one. I think it's the one that we find in Elden. All right, well, I'll just stay over here then. We'll recall this at you. Hold on, oh, oh, that was close. Will this actually hurt you though? <laughs> Come on. Oh, you destroyed it, there we go. That worked out well in the end after all. So I will, I guess equip the soldier's battle. Pick this back up and see what you drop for us. Octa balloon, Hyrule Bass, nothing too crazy then. So nothing really to this island that I really needed too much. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought that was the balloon again for uh, Kilton and Colton. It's not. So back to where we were, we're sort of running in circles now, but there's a lot to do around here. So what I wanna do now, get back to that main island, there's we still have that little Korok to help out, but Gapanga Island, Gapanga Village Ruins, with the Shrine Island and the Banan Island, those all seem like it's important to get to, so if I could, I'd like to. And at the least, if I don't help you right now, I can at least put a little Korok Seed marker. Yeah, there was a well right there I did not go into, so Korok Seed. Is there actually a better one? No, this is usually what I use for Korok Seed, so I keep doing that. But let's go into this well. This is the Gopanga Village Ruins well. Oh, we got more of these guys. Gotcha. This is the sticky frog we found last episode. Whoa, what is going on around here? Somebody's been hanging out. Today, I fell off a cliff. Note to self, mountain climbing on a rainy day remains a bad idea. How are sticky frogs able to walk so effortlessly across such slick surfaces when I just slip and fall? If I combine sticky frogs into monster materials, could I brew an elixir that w lets me climb wet cliffs without slipping? A beverage like that might make for a, be a perfect rainy day after piff. Or after tiff? I don't know what that's at, a pertiff? <laughs> My search for fine foods continues. Chef Aritamu, temporarily fallen. Interesting, so we can make that right there if we wanted to. I think I'll save it for later, but yeah, that is definitely something I wanna make once it gets rainy and stuff. Ah, oh, it's broken, all right. Anything more to do around here besides, you know, getting a couple more frogs? I don't think so, so I'll grab that one and this one. Just wanna make sure I actually get them before they get away. So, unfortunately, that means I need to shoot them down. But, let's see. Any kind of chests sitting in there? Can I actually just grab the frog? Wait, is this? No, this is a mushroom. I was like so confused. Like, could I do that the whole time? Not the, quite the case, but it's nice to know I can just grab the the mushrooms like that. I don't actually have to walk up to them. But each shrine we find is a big deal. It's for our, you know, one quest that we have, which is to find every shrine. Or not shrine, but, uh, well, we also need to find every shrine, yes, but that's a different goal. Uh, so I wanna head up or forward and to the left. So I think this one is what we're trying to head to, as far as I can tell. Yep, this will be Shrine Island. Beep where I don't quite see any shrines, but maybe there's one underground. There's a bunch of Bokoblins holding up their fort over there. With 
quite a lot of rain for a good while. We can build a few things over here too, but nothing I really need. Got some more Armoranth. Shrine Island seems like a little bit of a bust so far when it comes to finding shrines. I definitely, well, there is a little more over here. Oh, there are some chests up there, it looks like. Okay, who can I go for first? I see you over there, you over there. Oh, we are so good. We are so good. Can we get the last one? Ah, oh, not quite. Whoa, okay, now I got gotcha. you. All right, ready? Oh, I don't have a sword right now. Uh, this is awkward. Can you give me a moment? Uh, Liza Blade. Ow, I said give me a moment. Okay. Oh, the two for one. That was great. We do, of course, have an armored shard shield here too, which I don't know if we need. Doesn't seem like we do. Let's grab some of that. And this Liza bow I definitely need. Ooh, shock fruit. Isn't that new? I guess not. I don't know if I have a picture of that though, so maybe I should hold and drop it. Just make extra sure I got a picture of it. I don't, see this is why it's good to stay on top of things. So, in the meantime, I do wanna break these open. I don't really have too much at the moment that would do that. But this sword seems to work just fine. Another Lysel bow. Okay, so we wanna get up here. I can't climb on a rainy day, but I can at least ascend on a rainy day. Really is a bummer that it seems like Shrine Island does not have any shrines on it. But we do get a reinforced Lysel shield. This Lysel shield has been strengthened by adding a different type of metal to the mix. The edge is lined with spikes, so handle it with care. And it has 22 defense, so I think I'm good to say goodbye to the soldier shield. And let's see, if I hold this out, oh no, I don't even need to, it's way over here. Okay, so just drop that really quickly so I can get another picture, because this is definitely a new one. Oh, my album's full, hold on. Okay, now I can take the picture, and our companion grows even more. So I will grab that, and it really does not look like there's any kind of shrine around here, so I think we're good to go. Well, we saw that shrine in the distance I'll be working towards. But I didn't see any wells or anything either. So good to explore that and find what we did though. So it was new stuff. What's the deal with all of this one? This is gonna be Banan Island. And there's like the Millennia Sandbar, the Molida Mol Island. We're getting through it for sure. Wow, and this place seems pretty extensive. Let's see how much I can sneak over without them noticing me. Oh no, hide behind the tree. Be careful. I might wanna go for you first. Ah. Oh. Come on, unfortunate. It's very hard to hit them in the head just because of the shape of their head. Uh oh, are you, wait, are you blue? Yeah, you're blue. Oh, okay, no! I didn't realize I was that close. Oh, darn. Okay, well, that was silly of me. We'll try again, though. I don't think we were, we're gonna start you know, too far off. Yeah, we're right here. I think we'll be okay. So let's be careful this time. I do have food that I can eat. You know, just something like simmered fruit might be worth my while. Let's just get this simmered fruit. Gets us mostly at the full health. You know, it's easy to forget with this game because we just, you know, it's been a while since we played through Breath of the Wild, but things knock us out in one hit pretty easily. So let's get our good armor on. That'll help protect us a bit more too. It seems like this time they haven't noticed us. Gotcha. So if I can run up there really fastly, just like this, I want to switch over to a weapon I've had for a while, the Hinox Hammer with the extra durable. It, okay. And then when you try to swing at me, ow, oh, never mind. That was not a swing, that was a headbutt. Oh, okay, whoa, I dodged it somehow. Get him, Tulin, or not Tulin, <laughs> that was Inova. Got it, nice. So, grabbing all that, and we're running up the steps here, because I'm sure that all the other enemies are now catching wind of us running down here, causing a big problem. What else can I make, or eat, or whatever? Um, sure, hot buttered apple will fill us up real fast. Oh, hey, uh, that didn't work. <laughs> I'm really bad at timing the parries, I'm sorry. Nope, not gonna work from here. Not the best angle for us, but we'll just keep, keep trying to climb and fight. Oh man, what did you do? What did you guys do up there? I don't know, but it seems like it really helped. Uh-oh, oh, you guys are in so much trouble. 
I mean, this fire might just immediately quench. Oh, man, that's great. Okay, no, it broke. I mean, that's a good thing. I've been meaning to break it, but I guess we'll switch to something else now. Maybe the Knight's Claymore. I know there's another enemy waiting for us. It's still the same mob one as before. Come on. One more time? Not quite. Need a little bit more here. We'll just use the, I, th I should probably use the Liza Blade because that's actually combined with something, you know? There we go. Grab all that stuff, pick up some more food. We got a baked apple there. I'm sure there's gonna be baked apples all over the place now since that exploded. That was crazy how many Bokoblin we just sent flying with that. Pretty crazy. Let's get up here and see if there's any other rewards for us though, because I, I have to imagine there are. The rain is about to finally finish up, which is nice. Is there more enemies up here? Oh, there are. Hey, get out of here. No, you don't! Oh, scary. And I think there's even more. I could have ascended up here. Oh no, there isn't. Okay, that's the last of them. I will break this stuff open and see what, see about this. What do we got? A silver rupee, 100 rupees is well worth all the trouble we just went through, so that's cool. Um, I don't know if there's too much more I wanna do here. Uh, I guess for now, we will check out some other stuff around here. What is that? Oh, it's more of the Bogoblin stuff. It went flying this far? That's wild. So we got the Melita Island that we're on right now. I'm not seeing too much at the moment. What is that? No way. It's a Lionel. We haven't seen Lionels in this game yet. Whoa. Should we fight it? Should we say that? Are we strong enough to fight a Lionel right now? I have no clue. I totally forgot about Lionels. They're the scariest thing in Breath of the Wild. All right, well, let's run around this area as much as we can, and then maybe we'll try to take on the Lionel. Is this just the water buffalo again? Yep. Oh, don't charge me. Looks like it was about to charge me. This is pretty cool. So we could fight a Lionel today if we wanted to. I'm gonna fight you like that. Oh, come on. Oh no, ah, gotcha. Hold on, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, you threw the spear at me, rude. I'm coming up on you. Oh, the boomerang throw. I gotta be careful, I'm about to die. <laughs> this is not good, I'm getting really beat up today. Just gonna eat all those. And then maybe some extra armor would help. I think that'd be good. So, grab some of these Zolfos pieces now that they've dropped them. Anything else on this island? Really? I'm just looking for wells, because it seems like there's a lot of those around. I could also make a little boat here with that one little fan or a uh, sail. I think in general, we're gonna move to this next spot. Gotcha. If I can just run over to you really fast, Maybe that's a better strategy? Yeah. Oh, it seems like it. Give me that Lizel bow. Oh, and there's an ice wizard thing here. And then this is part of the much larger Kinsian Island. All right. Wow, there's a lot going on around here. Um, Let's try to fight you then. Gotcha. Run over, run over, run over. And then, if I really wanna get rid of you, you are creepy up close, dude. Uh, I wanna use this, right? There we go. Oh man, oh, that was, that was, that was Inova. All right, well, I really don't need the Sapphire Sword. I already have one, so I guess I'll leave it for another lucky traveler to find. Our defense up is almost done. I don't see too much else going on around here, like more stuff to build with, which is great, but maybe it's all stuff to leave for another time. That's of course where I have to wonder if maybe I'm not being as direct as I need to when it comes to, you know, getting to where we're supposed to be going, because we still have so much more to explore. Like maybe I should start skipping out on some things, come back later, because if not, it might just take us forever to get where we're going. We're chilling, let's Blow ourselves over this way. So I don't know if I'm quite ready to fight a Lionel. Lionels are really fast. We don't have the crazy strongest weapons, but we can always come back to fight them, you know? I'm glad I got the picture of them. That's always cool. 
right now. So those look like two different colored ducks, right? No, they're pretty similar. They're both the same kind. What is this? Just a uh, Hylian pine cone again. Yeah, let's get over to the shrine. At the least, that'll be good to focus on. So travel are making their way through there. I think that's a, I don't think that's a blue book one. Yeah, there's a black one. I don't know if we've gotten a picture of a black one yet. We have. They do drop good monster parts, though, so that might be worth considering soon enough. Way out here. We should probably just do the shrine first. That way we have an easy place to come back to. Is that a, <laughs> yes it is, I already see it up there. That is a uh, another sign that we have to deal with. Okay, for right now though, first things first, we're at the John Sal Shrine here in the Lanayru Wetlands. Let's get to it. So here we are with our first shrine of today. Deep Force, the John Sal Shrine. I do see one of these really big balls over here. And oh, I guess we need to make it need that. How do we do that exactly? Um, would I just do it manually? That doesn't seem like good work. Huh. I'm a little confused. It's bouncing a lot. Huh. Yeah, I can't lift it all the way up. But it retains like a lot of its buoyancy. And then there's a door off this way. Okay, so I think I'm thinking about this all wrong. Here we go. There you go. It's all about the buoyancy. The water will push it up and send it flying upwards. But if I were to try that up on top of there, would I be able to find the chest? Maybe we should try it really quickly. If I were just to go like this and then have it launch up. Problem is, whoa, I don't think I could do that. <laughs> All right, well, if we can't find the chest, we'll return to here, but why try to fiddle with that if it might not even be there? It might be it that way. We'll have to wait and see. In the meantime, though, there's the chest. Never mind. See, it was much easier. Just had to search for it. So if we just put this right there, open it up, what do we get inside? Strong contract bow. I can definitely uh, drop this Boko bow. Do not need that. What else do we have going on? Uh oh, an enemy to fight. Are you just a normal soldier construct? I need to practice my <laughs> parrying a little bit. It's just so hard to. Oh man, because it's just every enemy has their own, you know, unique swing animation. So to be able to. There we go. To know them all can be really difficult, but I got it. Should probably switch over to an actual weapon. And we got you. So I'll pick up whatever you drop, and we'll keep moving. I don't see too much else to do around here. So, what's the deal with this one? I guess it's the same deal. These yellow objects seem to just be particularly more buoyant. So if I were to put this down all the way and then let it rip. Oh, not as much, not as much. Let me try that again. Not gonna work the same way. What if I were to just go get the ball from the other area? Doesn't seem like it'd be too big of a deal, right? Maybe, maybe can even use that chest just to launch something into the button, but yeah, I don't see why I couldn't just take this one with me. Oh, come on. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Here we go. Grab it and let's move. So with this one, we'll run all the way back over here. Let's see for ourselves. Uh, there wasn't really anything else in this room. I think there's only one chest per shrine, so we're really only just focused on getting to the end now. So what if I were to move this? Because what would I need this for? Not really sure. So let's try to hit the button with this one. It works just fine. I'm a little confused on what we need the other thing for, but maybe it'll actually play into this next puzzle. For convenience, I'm going to grab this, attach it to that, and bring both of them with me. Yeah, just a little two in one. That way we can uh, get around wherever we need to. So, now that we're in here, there's another one. So what's the deal with this? I have a feeling, well, I can't just reach that, can I? Not quite. I have a feeling what I'm supposed to do is to grab this, 
dip it under the water, let it launch way up like that, but maybe at a safer spot. <laughs> Might be a good idea. I just want it to be, why is it? There we go. I don't know why I was fussing with me so much, but if we launch it up like that, it'll fly way up and way back down. And then if I just grab it really quick, I don't know if that's really gonna work the way I need it to <laughs> now that I think about it. Uh, uh, maybe this isn't a good idea. There's gotta be a better way to do this. Maybe I could just smack all that stuff out of the way. Oh, yes I can. There we go. Okay, so let's just wait for that to come back down. Which the easiest way to do that would be just to grab this thing, get out of the way. And if I get on top of it, I can just recall this. There we go, see it's not so bad. All right, bring me up, please. Sort of, it's gonna be a little dizzying. I hope Link had a late, or a light lunch. I mean, he really didn't. No, oh, are you kidding me? Ah, oh, darn, that's not what I wanted. It's fine, it'll fall back down. Actually, maybe this is perfect. I can't cancel it from here. It's gonna fall all the way back down. I get back on top of it again. Oh my goodness, now we try. All right, bring me down. And then bring it back up. The power of gravity is actually on our side this time. We have completed the shrine. Now, this was a tricky one. Definitely one of the more difficult ones so far. And we just spent all of our orbs or blessings last episode. So we're sort of earning up a whole new collection. Okay, so we've done a great job, of course, at clearing out that shrine. And I do wanna move through the wetlands a little bit faster. But in the meantime, I wanted to go against this one bow goblin because of course they will, let's actually equip a stronger bow if we can. There we go. Just the more we can take out these guys, the better. So we got those two down. Um, I need to be a little bit careful, but what I can maybe do here, oh no, I might wanna wait. Oh, here's my chance. Nah, it didn't quite work, but it broke their shield, so that's pretty good. Now if I wanna like set them on fire, just trying to take some advantages here. We can use the black Moblin hammer or whatever this is, Horblin hammer. There we go, doing some good damage to you. Just because these enemies, you know, drop a lot of nice stuff that we can take pictures of if I haven't already, but also can just use it to equip stuff. So there we go, to get the black moblin horn, a couple more pieces over here. I should probably take this sturdy thick stick. That could definitely be worth our while. But yeah, we're good. We can keep moving forward this way where it looks like there's a traveler. Okay, might wanna go catch up with them really fast. They're about to be attacked by these vocal ones, so it's a good thing we took them out. Chasm, it's not very safe. I know you, we met once before, didn't we? Yes, I remember now. I ran into you after my interview with Joshua for the Chasm Researcher position. Quite a tough interviewer Joshua was. I wonder who could possibly have held up her to her scrutiny. Yeah. You may look at me and think that that man is not a doctor, but in fact, that is precisely my vocation. And being someone not young, I feel an urgency to make a lasting mark on the profession before my sunset years. That was why I volunteered for the Zonai survey team. You see, I believe that new elixirs and remedies might be derived from the plant and animal life found in the chasms. Oh. That's why I'm here. This is my chance to be on the ground floor of the new field of chasm medicine. Cool, well, good luck. So we'll definitely have to do our own exploring through the chasms to see what we can find. But we have a while to go here, like a long while. So if we could just keep running through this, I think it'd be a great idea. Got some more ducks swimming around, that's so cute. And we'll see what we end up finding. Hmm. Right now I might want to, I don't know where Sky is. I think we left Sky a while back, unfortunately. We could make a car here if we wanted to get all the wheels out and everything. I don't know if it's entirely worth it. We got more of these Bokoblins popping up though, and you. I'll wait for you for a second. Actually, is this a new one? I don't think it is. No, it is, Water Octorok. Okay, so yeah, let's just get a quick picture of you just like that. Because you think a Water Octorok out of all of them is pretty easy to fight off. Uh. But is that a new thing? Oh, the Voltfin Trout is new, so we might as well go and pick that up in a second. Get a quick picture of it. Swim over. Octoballoon and the Voltfin Trout. This trout makes its home in the freshwater lakes. Its scales have an insulating compound that, when cooked into a dish, offers resistance to electricity. That's great. So I'll swim over here really fast. Get up here. There's a lot of Pokemon around here. So. This could be a bit challenging, and there's enemies over there. Oh, I'm so curious about all this. Okay, let's start with you, if I can. Oh, you're falling in the water? That's gonna be an instant takedown. Very lucky for me. 
very easy monster parts to grab from that. You can see there's a whole set of things happening over here. All these guys are blocking whatever's in there. I'm so curious. Maybe we go check it out? Will it be like a Bokoblin versus the uh, Constructs again? We've seen that before, it could be quite the fight. Do I wanna leave it till later? The thing is, that seems to have its own set of paths in a way, right? Or maybe no, that's where I'm trying to get to. So, yeah, you know what? Let's just head over there and give this a try a little bit. Oh no. And a little stuck. Can I climb up this pole? Uh oh, I can't. <laughs> this is not good. Let me just get on top of something if I can manage anything. I'm like really stuck in the current right now. This actually could be a disaster if I can't get on top of something and then just ascend. Much better. <laughs> All right. They don't know I'm here, so I will just try to knock some of them around. Gotcha. And then you. Get out of here. And your friend. I'm ready for you. Oh, they got me with that one. I just barely missed. Okay, come on. You wanna help me out here, guys? Got it. All right, that should be good enough. Can pick up some of this stuff. Somebody shooting arrows at me. I'll deal with that soon. I see you over there. First off, we'll get a strength in Lizel Bow. A Lizel Bow with a grip reinforced by its by metal. The body is made from the branches of a flexible tree that grows near the water which offers some serious destructive power. Okay, so I don't think we have, the, oh no, is this? No, this is a different one. Yeah, for sure. So I think I'll just drop one of these. Very nice. And go for you a little bit. So let's go ahead and drop this bow, if I can, just so I can get a quick picture of it. Drop, and boom. Strength and Lizel bow. Very nice to see it. So finding new stuff all over the place. But of course, we still have some friends to fight over here. Friends or foes, one of the two. I guess we really could have just moved that and had them all fight each other. Are any of these enemies new? I really don't think so. They are really trying to get over to me though. <laughs> they're throwing rocks at me, they're throwing anything they can find. Okay, where is Yonobo? Yonobo, buddy, you wanna have some fun? Oh, okay, that got rid of all that. I guess that's something. Here. Get rid of you a little bit. No, no, no. Come on. Whoa. Oh, I got it. That was awesome. All right. Got all that. And then you up here. I'm sick of you. Gotcha. One shot takedown is all we needed. I'll grab what I can from all this then. This is another uh, Zonite shield. Don't really need that too much. I don't see any other enemies around here. I do see a chest in the water. But they did have a chest up this way. So grab what I can. That's a strong construct bow. So I think that's worth grabbing. And we'll check this out. Okay, in here we have a large Zonai charge, and that's a very uncommon kind of treasure chest. I feel like we don't run into this very often. I wonder what's out there. I don't really have too much I can use to pick up at the moment. And there's some stuff over that way, but do I really want to bother myself too much right now? I don't think so. So we know where to go. We just need to head down this path and up this way. Right? I mean, it looks like it to me. That should help us get to the Zora. So I really want to focus on that. Pick up some arrows along the way. And we're off. Obviously, you know, we can't pass by every single little thing as we're traveling throughout Hyrule. At least not at first, just because there's so much in this game and so many things you can get distracted with. But I guess in general, I'm just trying to stay productive as we move across to everything. Oh, well, it looks like we need to help you with your sign again. And this is a, yeah, woodland boar. What will this sign say? So to the left is Howard Ridge, but to the right is Zora's Domain and Akala. We're trying to head to Zora's Domain. Oh, hey guys. Okay, ready? Oh no. Now, rude. Let's do that. And then with the headshot, I'm able to get rid of you pretty easily. Now we probably want to pick up the Bokoblin arm because it's very powerful. And then I will just yep, get rid of that part. And I might just want to combine it with the other one because that's always just a pretty effective thing to do. Is there somebody behind us? No. So I will just, real quick. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> it's okay. Oh, hey, I hate getting wet. <laughs> I overheard some great info on Misko's treasure. Oh, that's good. And it looks like you overheard me. Perfect, this is so juicy, I've gotta share. You've heard of Misko's treasure? The famous band's huge cult clothing collection? 
The story goes that Misko hid it in caves all throughout the land. Just the thought gets my fashion-loving heart pounding. Oh. They say that several of Misko's treasures are hidden in the many caves of Lanairu. It's a shame that the walls of those caves are wet and slippery and slimy and blech because of all the water in there. If you think I'm bringing any part of my wardrobe into that muck, think again. If only there were some chic outfit that would let me climb walls without slipping. All right, well, I think I can help with that. Well, the double sign, look at you. All right, well, I can't do too much about this, so I might as well just switch to something else. How can we help you with this one? Because this one looks a little hefty, to say the least. I think that um, we switch to the Ultra Hand. Oh, these are like heavy duty. Oh, I see, interesting. Um, I don't quite know how I want to go about this. Oh, I see it. Huh. This seems a bit interesting. What if I were just to leave this here? Sorry, maybe something like this. Oh, hi there. So, fellow traveler, what are you searching for on your journey? My passion is finding geoglyphs. They're enormous pictures that have been drawn on the ground. When were they drawn and who by and how? The mysteries abound. I heard tell of a geoglyph in this area, but it refuses to show itself. Not for the first time. I'm wishing I had wings like a bird. Then I could scout it out from the sky. It would be useful. Well, I think we've probably seen that one. Oh no, what, why are they screaming? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just trying to slot this in, just like that. They're really scared. Uh, hi. So let's see if this helps. It might not be sturdy enough, but actually, I'm gonna leave you two really quickly. I wanna make a little bit more of a foundation there. I think that if we could just put this under it, just like this, that'd be perfect. Right there. Okay, that's gotta be able to hold it. Try letting go. Yep. Never mind. <laughs> All right, that did not work out. Why didn't that work? It just sort of crumbled. So maybe I could just build some more. I hope so. Oh, it moved all my stuff too. All right, this one might be a little bit too complicated, but we're gonna find out. Uh, let's see, try letting go. It's working. Okay, this one was really difficult to set up, but I figured something out. <laughs> oh man, that one took me a good minute. So let's see what kind of cool stuff we can get for this one. Of course, it'll be 20 rupees and plenty of other stuff, I'm sure. Get a new meal, maybe a bomb flower, that'd be good. Perfect. All right, well, I'm glad I could help. It's one last sign to worry about for me. We get that red rupee. Almost at 500 rupees in total. Um, so we get the chili veggie rice balls. We'll give us heat resistance. And of course, a special gift, the sleepover ticket. We have a lot of these at this point, but I usually choose to use the rupees so that I can actually, uh, you know, like uh, get the, the points for the, the pony points. Anyways, we have even more people to talk to. Boy, that stuff is creepy. Hello, hello, friend. Making your way to Lanairu? Then tread carefully. Word is, these blackish clumps of sludge have been falling all over the region. It's really sticky and gross that the sludge lands on you, but thankfully you can wash it off with water. In other words, everything will turn out fine as long as you have a healthy supply of splash fruit on hand. And if you don't have any a healthy supply, I sell splash fruit. Need a restock? What can I get you? Uh, I'm actually good. If you need anything, my door is always open, metaphorically at least. We already have splash fruit, but I do see another Gorn to talk to over here before we continue to move towards Zoro's demand. Sticky, goopy gunk. Oh. Hey, good morning. I was just thinking it'd be nice to talk to someone. I'm glad you said something. Oh. I hear things are real bad in Lanaira to the east. They've got sticky black globs falling down from the sky. Imagine that. I think they're calling it sludge. Gross. You'd better wash anything like that off in a hot spring. Oh wait, guess there aren't any hot springs around Springs in Lanaira, huh? Wish I could share some of Elden's with him. All right, well, gotta be careful of that. Mall of Death Mountain, Akala, and then Zora's Domain. So I guess maybe this is like another way up to Death Mountain? Yeah, because you know, there's this whole section over here. Good to keep in mind, but we're focused on getting to Zora's Domain as much as possible today, so we need to keep heading this way. Or well, we got some more blue nightshades. I could make some more food here too, Oh, look at this, there's another notepad. Note on the table. Our journey to Zora's Domain has gone smoothly so far, but the road ahead is crumbling. It seems our only option is to journey off of the paved path. With the sludge slowing us down, it seems like getting there may take a while. 
I need to hurry and reach Zora's domain. Finally, or Finley must be worried. Okay, so somebody else was here too. And there's another Korok. Poor little guy. Where's your friend at? If it's not too far off, I might try, but I can also take a picture of this. This is a Zapstream. Cool. So we'll go ahead and pick this up too. This mushroom grows wild in the Gerudo region. The cap is naturally insulated, so when used in cooking, it will offer protection against electricity. Where's your friend at? If it's not too far, I'll bring you along with the ride, but if not, I'll just mark it on my map. Ah, oh, my friend and I got separated. Way up there, okay. Maybe for some other time. My friend is sending up a smoke signal, I can't wait to catch up. Okay, so, as per usual, I will just mark it with one of these. In the meantime, though, I saw someone, yeah, up here. The path really is destroyed around here. This is terrible. What is that thick money gunk anyway? Ugh, and those stones are blocking the road. This isn't good. Many travelers turn back. Of course, they would in a situation like this. If you're not a bird or a fish, you have to follow the path to get to, to Zoro's domain. Sometimes all you can do is give up. But I have to get there. Finley is waiting for me at Zoro's domain. Oh, so you're probably the person who wrote that little note. Well, we can give it a try. Ugh, here's this goop. Gross. I don't like it, we probably don't wanna walk through them. I wonder if I can use a send to get up these things. I can. That's nice. I thought this is actually, isn't this where we first met? What's his name? Sidon? Something like that? Somewhere around here in Breath of the Wild. Very cool, but I do see this right here. Do I just, what do I do with that? Oh, I gotta hit this. Somebody's firing stuff at me too, which I don't appreciate, but look at this. We got ourselves another core seed. Yeah, you found me. All right, so how many Quark seeds do we have in total? Eight of them. Very nice. Bye. I don't know who is firing at us. Oh, you, ow, over there. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm in the gunk. We're on the no-go bridge. Okay, come on, almost there. Uh, got it. Uh, there's so much of the scoop everywhere. I really gotta be careful. I haven't really seen too much of it falling from the sky just yet, though, as they were saying. Let's get rid of you. One shot is almost enough to do it. We'll switch over to the Traveler's Claymore. is great, actually. Boom, gotcha. What do they drop for me? This is Mosalfa's horns and talons. Yeah, this stuff is not easy to get through, and trying to run through it doesn't really net much results. I do see a couple of bugs up this way that I don't think we have pictures of, so if I could Stand up. Might be worth taking the opportunity. Oh, uh, is it gonna disappear? It disappeared, okay. Well, not taking a picture of that one. There might be more around at some point, though. Hmm, there's a bunch of enemies around here. And this is where it's, you know, I start to question, do we take the main path? Can we even? You know, it seems like it's gonna be a really difficult path up. I'll go for you. Just like that, once once again, it's almost enough to knock you out. I can just finish you off like that, though. Roasted bass bat. That's one way to use your food. Here, I'll use the Knight's Claymore. To maybe break some of the stuff open. Extra arrows are always a nice thing to see. I also dropped the Lysel, though, but I don't think I need it. Got it, and then we'll break this open. Cool. So I don't see too much happening down this way, except for more enemies I can maybe fight, but I think I'll leave B for now. I guess the best thing to do, just to jump around here a little bit. Obviously, this was a difficult area to get up to in Breath of the Wild too, but for totally different reasons. Now you don't get out of here. Yeah, I'll just shoot you again. What does the sign say? So where's the main ahead? All right. Yeah, in Breath of the Wild, this was very difficult because it was constantly raining. Ugh, there's some of that gunk. Where is it coming in from, I wonder? It must be some kind of sky island, maybe that one. Ow, hey, I am pondering right now, who is hitting me? Never hit somebody in the middle of pondering. Oh, what are they gonna drop? It looks like a couple of things. Ooh, we got a Staminoka bass, that's new. This Hyrule bass got to be the biggest fish by never getting caught until now. Its long life results in a cooked dish that will restore a lot of stamina. We also have an Octrock eyeball and an Octo balloon. 
So let me make sure that I actually have all that. It was that and then the Staminoka Bass. So if I do by type, let's try to find all the other fish. Staminoka Bass. I just want to hold this stuff and then drop it so I can make sure I get pictures of it all if I need it. So Staminoka Bass, there you go. I don't need a picture of the eyeball apparently. So that should be all I need to do there. In the meantime though, we actually need to get across to that. Yep, right over here. If we follow these lights, it should help us. It is so far much easier to get through this than it was in Breath of the Wild, not only because this was sort of the first area we explored after heading out of like, you know, oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm gonna eat up some food before we get into too much trouble here. Uh, what do I wanna eat though? I think I'll just do the, the simmered fruit. There are so many of these guys. All right, well, I could do this of course but I don't know if it's actually gonna hit them in time, so I might just have to do it the old fashioned way. I would like to grab this stuff though. It's really worth having, I'm sure. Okay, I can't quite, uh, almost. Got it, got it. There's so many of them. Please leave me alone. No, you jumped up right as I threw that. One more time. Gotcha, much better. I mean, I guess I can pick it out of the water with this, can I? You were a little bit closer. You know what, yeah, let's go into this part of the water then. Cause I might just be able to grab it all like that. We could even a sneaky river snail. I like it. Okay, we're continuing upwards. It looks like a couple of these logs are falling, whoa, off the waterfall. Maybe I could reverse them back up. That might be a better way to get around. Yeah, I really don't know where this goop is coming from. The water is so brown and dirty. Okay. Yeah, let's get around that. Mostly I'm just trying to f focus on the path, but. Whoa. Whoa, hey, hey, watch it! Rocks are falling too. Is there somebody up here just trying to give us a hard time or what? I think we're good to keep going. I do see that little guy. If I climb up here. I might be able to get you like this. Here we go. Gotcha. Ah, oh, my bow broke. Can I get you? Nah, I don't know if I can. Hey, watch it. I'm in the middle of stuff here. Oh, you're new actually, aren't you? Yeah, Blackless Alpha. Sorry to, for, to, for the mid-fight picture. But now all these rupees are falling everywhere. It's a very costly fight. Let me go ahead and get a bow out. We'll do the Lysel bow. Ooh! Yanobo sending you flying. Let's go ahead and get something else out. I think uh, the Bokoblin arm is fine enough. Maybe, I mean, these guys are the strongest type of enemy, I think. Well, no, no, that's not true. There are definitely more stronger ones than this, but strongest ones we've found so far. So they, they will take a hit for sure. But with it, we find ourselves the Zora Spear. Whoa, that'll be a great pickup. Let's try it out. And we also get the Black Ozolfo's Horn, a blade-like serrated horn. Attach it to a weapon to greatly increase its attack power or cook it with a critter to brew an elixir. So let's also pick up the Zora Spear, a Zora, or a Zora Spear with a decayed point. It's made of a water-resistant metal and yields a high attack power when it gets wet. Very nice. So glad to get that. Now let me grab all these rupees so that we're over 500 now. I don't know what our maximum is, if it's 999. If it is, then. That sort of sinks because we're coming up on it, but it'll be fine. Whoa, look at you up here. So I guess if we keep going, not up here, but the other direction, I've sort of fallen off the path just because of all these enemy and enemies and the goop and everything. There's a chest in the goop up here. Let's just try to get up to this, just like this. Got it. Uh, keep pulling it. Oh, it is stuck in there, good. I don't know if I can. I can't get out of this goop. What do we do about that? I mean, maybe I could like reverse it out? I guess it depends on how long it's been there. Doesn't seem like it's doing much. I don't know if I, do I just kick it open? I might have to come back to this later. Uh, see you, Yanoba. Yeah, this ain't doing much. I'll have to come back to that one. Very odd. But I guess in the meantime, we have a bit of a height advantage. Oh, there's a well. Let me go check this out. Now I'm very curious. 
inside of the Tabal Woods Well. Whoa. We'll get a little frog we can catch. No, it's gone. So I guess I need to push this out of the way. What was that? Oh, it's a crab. Spooky, it's gone. All right, well, it looks like there was somebody in here at some point. Let's break open what we can. Oh no, this is badly damaged, but we'll grab what we can from this, some soldier construct horns, and all my life I lived for food, and food has lived for me. I always thought anything was edible with prep and effort, until now. This strange mechanical horn-like thing someone gave me on the road was definitely inedible. If it were from a monster, I could cook or boil it, make it into a medicine, find some way to get it into my stomach. So what creature is this from? I was told it fell from the sky during the upheaval, but what does that mean? Perhaps I tried to eat something beyond our understanding. The wonderful, well, the wonders truly never cease. Chef Aritami, food's dance partner. <laughs> yeah, I mean, some things just aren't edible. I think that's just a loss you gotta take sometimes. More frogs in here, though. The frogs are definitely edible. So I'll take some of those. And then we'll just make our way back up. Just like this. If there was a crab in here. I couldn't quite grab it before it scurried off, but I think the closer we get to Zora's domain, the more of those we'll find. So definitely a good thing to note, but fun to find another well. And I guess from here, I'm supposed to go this way, actually. So much of this gunk still falling though. Hey, oh no, um, are you a new one? Nope, you're just a rock like. Uh, I don't like it. I might just have to treat you to a bomb flower souffle or something here. here you open up. Boom! How'd that work for you? Now you're just a normal life like. Oh, my, my bow's on fire. There we go. Oh, that got you pretty good. Let's get down there then and make quick work of you. I think we'll use the blue moblin pounder and really get the pound in. Come on, just a few more hits. Should you the trick? There it is. Give me my treasure chest. All right, got some arrows, get the like-like stone. And the Zora sword, a long Zora sword with a decaying blade. Made of a metal favored by the Zora, it yields a high attack power when it gets wet. Interesting, so I don't need the Traveler's Clay more. So I can go ahead and try that out. And of course, as per usual, I need to drop it first. Drop, and get a good picture of it. Very nice looking sword though. Obviously it looks way better when it's not decayed. Oh, we can't worry about that too much right now. So we're under here. Oh, can I grab this? Uh, it was another darner, which I just don't think we've gotten just yet. So we're just continually traveling along the lake here. It seems like we're slowly getting somewhere. Whoa, quite the camp over here, huh? Nothing new with it, but would still be fun to take on. So I'm gonna fly over and get you guys in a bunch of trouble. I'll use the fire fruit. That didn't work. Oh, it did, it just took, it took a moment. That was cool. I see some of them are still gearing up though. Uh, here, I will fight you myself. Oh, don't you dare. That almost got me. That would've been a problem. Yunobo, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> Yunobo, can you please come back? Oh, there we go. Oh, I sent them flying. Now, unlike the other enemies, those guys can swim, so it only keeps them at bay for a little bit, but I can definitely slice you out of the way. And all your stuff is gonna fall, darn. Um, can I get the arrows? I really want the bundle of arrows. <laughs> okay, my greed is gonna get me in trouble here. I need to fight this other guy who's stuck in the water at the moment. Got traveler swords, rock boomerangs, nothing too crazy. Ooh, a bunch of fish, oh, a bunch of food. They're not gonna be happy when they catch wind of the fact that I'm stealing all their stuff. And we get a Zora bow, a bow favored by the Zora for fishing. It doesn't boast the highest firepower, but the special metal it's crafted from prioritizes durability. That is really cool. So let's let the take a picture of that one. Break open these. Oh, I can only break open one. That's okay. I got more stuff. Well, I guess I need to combine this with a rock some at some point, if there's any around. I mean, would this work? Yes, it will. Nice. Oh, you're right behind me, aren't you? You are. Okay, so what I wanna do then is just use the weapons I have for the time being. Oh, here I come. Oh, you dodged it. <laughs> you know though, I appreciate it, but we need them out of the water. Okay. Oh, I got you good there, but now I'm in your your field. I don't like it. 
I'm back up here. Come on. Gotcha. Really nice. So I will grab whatever I can from that, even if it is just one item. And we're back to it. I don't think there's really too much more I wanna bother with around here, but I do want to drop this to get a picture of it. Got it. We are really earning up our, our compendium now. I don't know how much is left, but we're definitely making some good work. It looks like, oh, we're in, we're in bridge now. This rock could have a Korok seed under it. At this point, I feel like I haven't found too many of those, but this one is one of them. Awesome. You really have to leave no stone unturned if you want to find every Korok seed. Okay. Back to it then. I'm just getting over here. It looks like, oh, there's another one of you, huh? Oh no, can I hit you one more time? That was nice. I just wanna get whatever rupees I can out of that then. It's like I said, we're earning up a lot of money recently. Is there a cave over here? There is. Whoa. All right, discovery. What did we find in here? The Orin Bridge Cave. The Nairo Great Spring. Could be a lot in here, there could be a little. So far we're finding this thing. I have a feeling we're gonna need this for something. So let's bring this over here. Cause it sort of looks like a dead end, right? Hard to tell. Let me swim over a little bit. Yeah, I'm not seeing much of a place to go. No, right up here. So if I could just push this out a little bit, I could probably Disconnect this, turn it, bring it down, and then I just won't even connect them because now I can just grab this, bring it over, get it exactly where I need it, and then we can ascend from this one. Isn't that convenient? I think so. And now we're up here. We'll at least have a treasure chest. I'm hoping also the bubble frog. Around here somewhere. We found a soldier's claymore. Obviously one we've had before, but I can get a bomb flower. Don't mind if I do. Each one of those is always important to get. But still no bubble frog. There you are. Hey, <laughs> a little too close for comfort, don't you think? There we go. Bubble gem for us. Number 17 in total. I think we're good to get out of here. I don't really see too much more. Right there. Awesome. So yeah, another cave done. How close are we at this point to Zoro's Domain? Because I feel like, is it this way? Am I facing, it's, it's, whoa, this way. No, it is up, oh, okay. Have I been going the wrong direction for a bit? Sort of hard to tell. I think this might be just where it's easier to start climbing. <laughs> it can be really, really hard to tell. Yeah, right around here, okay. Whoa. What's with the signs? Um, can I do anything with these? I can't. They all seem to be pointing towards this. Thing. Is there a Korok seed associated with this? Examine, okay, there we go, we found it. It's so addicting to find Korok seeds just simply because just boom, found it, boom, found it. Usually it's just a quick moment of puzzle solving is all you need. All right, well we're almost there, that's the entrance, so. I mean, I've been getting closer, just not vertically until now. Oh no, ooh, be careful. I'm trying to sort of find more inventive ways to get there though, just so that I can maybe find some more stuff along the way. Like, could this be another Korok seed? Probably not. Oh yeah, these murals. I remember these from Breath of the Wild. Did they say different things now? Learnings of the Zora part two, the legend of Ruto, our great ancestor as told by Prince Sidon. It is written that long ago, there was a strong-willed Zora princess who was meandering as a winding river. This princess, who was dearly loved by her fellow Zora, was, a, was as noble as she was innocent. Her name was Rutau. One day, a powerful and wicked man tried to take over Hyrule and brought great ruin that, that the, to the once peaceful Zora's domain. Our tales speak of the fallen Zora soldiers drifting down the river as it sadly reflected the chaotic retreat of the terrified Zora. Princess Ruto 
bravely fought back her tears as she bore witness to the tragic misery unfounding, unfolding in the Dominion. Even amid her heartbreak, the Zora princess did all she could to help peak or help the weak and elderly escape. Next, she swam against the river's current and climbed the mighty waterfall to challenge her foe. The details of this fight have fallen victim to the haze of time. Few details remain. Still, it is said that she was aided by the Princess of Hyrule and the Hero of Legend, and together they saved Hyrule. So the legend goes, I, Sidon, Prince of Zora, cannot help but ponder these events as I listen to the Zora children play in all their innocence. As Princess Ruta's descendant, it is my fate to carry the torch of her brave axe into tomorrow and beyond. I shall not fail. So I think this is different, which is super interesting. So I'll have to try to find some of the other ones. That was the part two. I've not seen part one around, but it could be just about anywhere. So hopefully I can find them at some point because it'd be just really nice to discover those. But for right now, just trying to climb up. I could try to ascend. I don't know if it's gonna really give me a good spot to get under at the moment. So I'm just sort of doing it the old fashioned way, which if it's working, then you know what, why not? Almost there anyways. Just a little bit more, I just wanna climb this one manually, I think. Almost there, and there's another tower. We still need to climb up that way, way at the very top of that mountain. Ready, and got it, cool. So, are we there? There's some enemies here, that's for sure, but this looks like the entrance. I think we did it. All right, so let's head in to Zora's Domain, right? I mean, maybe I'm not quite there. Yeah, maybe not. We're at Luto's Crossing and uh-oh. Oh no, we're not quite there. It's all that, okay. I thought I was closer. Oh no. This is gonna be quite the event, isn't it? Getting past the blue boss, Bokoblin. And all of his little Bokoblin friends. You know what, uh, while you guys are over there, what if I did this and then just, hey, yeah, uh, come on over, come on over. No, that they're just gonna run away. <laughs> Whoops, okay, help me out, you know though. Oh, that was pretty good, great start. Some of his friends are running over. Okay, now I get one of these out. And then as you get closer maybe, I'm getting closer, here we go, hey, yeah. There we go, you're in so much trouble now. You're in so much trouble. Oh, it didn't do as much damage as I was hoping, but we can still fight some of them with this. Got it. And then you, over here. I need to get rid of you first. Easier said than done. Ow! Yikes. It's the big guy I'm not having so much fun with. Okay, I got his friend. Now, if we could just go all in on you, that'd be great. Just wail on you as much as I can here as he jumps back up. Oh, don't jump off the bridge. Oh, I just barely dodged that one, and with it, we finish you off. That was great. A lot of stuff to scoop from that, for sure. Um, it looks like that's it for now. I can definitely get this uh, red chew jelly. We're continuing down this bridge. Quite the fight. But even then, you know, we're getting across the bridge like that with Luda's Crossing, but there's still so much more to find here, so. I mean, a lot of that marking on the map is the, the river that we're traveling with. What is this? Oh, this is new. This is a fleet lotus seeds. Very cool. So I definitely wanna grab these. The plant that bears these seeds grows near deep water. The roots draw nutrients from the water, which boosts your movement speed when the seeds are cooked into a dish. Good to know. There's another one of those Zoros to me, sort of like, Inscriptions, I guess you can call them. We're getting so much closer, but there's still so much more to get to. So I'm hoping that once we get through this, maybe I could like raise my way back up there and then use Tulin to get over it. Cause I at least want to enter Zora's domain today. That's the big goal. So I'm landing right about here. And this is Learnings of the Zora part three. So we missed part one. <laughs> the great King Dorfin as told by Prince Sidon. Several springs after I lost my dear sister, Mipha, a large group of Lazalfos attacked the domain. It mattered not that this was my first true battle. The expectations of those around me weighed heavy on my shoulders. The absence of Mipha, who had always been there to encourage me with loving kindness, was like a spear to the heart. As for my own spear, though I was highly trained for its use, it seemed to only cut the air and slash the water's surface. 
I was taken off guard by a surprise attack from the three Lizophas hiding at the water's edge, each with their blade fixed on me. I knew that my time had come, and that is when the three Lizophas disappeared as quickly as they had arrived. In their place, I saw the towering figure of my father, the great King Dorfin, who had just bested my foes with ease. Sidon, my son, he said firmly, you allowed your heart to falter. That is the quickest way to fall on the battlefield. His words cut deep, but as I stood on the brink of the spear, a familiar voice gently encouraged me. Your king needs you. Many soldiers later attested that they were certain they had also heard the sweet voice of Mipha on that day. From then on, my heart was true and my resolve firm. By lending strength to our king, we were able to save the domain. That's great. Okay, no Crocs did none of that one, but we got two out of these three so far. Obviously, there's plenty more to find, but um, yeah, let's switch this to Ascension. I don't think I can ascend up there from here, but I did notice that around the corner, I should be able to do it, I think. Gotta get up there somehow. It'd be nice if I could just do it from here, save myself some time, but it doesn't quite work that way. We just gotta climb all the way up here, and I think yeah, this platform I can easily get on top of just using Ascension. Ready? Right about there. All right, we're coming up. And made it. Anything cool going on with this one? I don't think so. I just think from here we could just get to the other side pretty easily. Or at least, I hope so. We're gonna find out. Ooh, now I'm getting a bit more nervous about it. If I could just land, I see a little ledge. I can maybe stand on a little bit over here, so. We'll try this one. Got it. And then from here, I'll have to do a little bit of climbing. Better than nothing. And if I'm gonna be climbing, I know I probably should have equipped this a while ago. Let's get this on. Ooh, yeah, I do not wanna jump too much with this. I'll just climb normally for the rest of it, but we're so close. I just don't see any other practical way to get over. I mean, I guess there might be some islands on the floor there that I could zoom up to, or zoom up from. It's sort of hard to say. Okay, I'm almost there if I could just jump right about now. Got it. Oh, and hey, look at this. We got another one. So hopefully this is part four or part one. I'd be happy with either. Part eight. What? Learnings of the Zora part eight. The princes of Hyrule as told by Prince Sidon. Once the despicable disaster had ceased to plague Zora's domain, a distinguished yet humble lady paid us a visit. This, this young woman who appeared with Link at her side was none other than Princess Zelda of the royal family of Hyrule. I beg forgiveness, she said earnestly. Because of the royal family, Princess Mipha, she paused, unable to continue. Small, silent teardrops tumbled down her, her cheek and hit the floor, one after another, each saying a thousand unspoken words. She gently wiped her eyes and lifted her gaze to meet the kings, speaking kind words of gratitude for Mipha's sacrifice. We knew well that what had transpired was the result of a decision shared by the Zora and by Princess Mipha herself. There was no need for the princess, princess of Hyrule's apology, and even less so for her sorrow. King Dwarfin, along with the rest of the Zora, were moved by the depth of Princess Zelda's sincerity. She had held that unthinkable disaster at bay for nearly 100 years, with nothing more than the sheer force of her own will. Yet she was not prideful. She dutifully set to work, traveling across Hyrule to secure cooperation for the kingdom's restoration. She was adored by all, yet so humble. She possessed an inner strength that shone like a star in the night sky. I used to think that inner strength could be forged by building physical strength, but now I'm not so certain. I feel a strong calling to one day acquire the same sort of strength within myself. These are very cool. I really wish I could have read them in order, but it's sort of hard to find them in order. I don't see any other around here. I'm sure we'll discover them more as we continue to adventure Zora's Domain. But for right now, we're on a mission. I'm going over here, and we're going to Zora's Domain. We're almost there. Just gotta cross the big bridge. And we can catch up with Sidon. I haven't seen him in so long. All right, let's get across all this goop. We gotta ask him what the deal is with that, too. But I think we're finally about to make it. Oh, some more of the goop has fallen as we're getting through. There is an island above us. That really could be the source of it. I want to do that shrine scene too. I do see that down there. That's probably the easiest way to uh, figure things out. But we've made it to Zora's Domain, Lanairu Great Spring. Things aren't looking so good here though. 
The goop's raining down here more than anywhere else. Where's Sidon? Where are most people? I do see a few of them up here. Hi. That vile sludge. Hi there. Ugh, I'm so sorry. Everyone has been treated now, but we have used up all that splash fruit. There are a few more injuries than anticipated. Please accept my apology. You have nothing to apologize for. You did what had to be done. Most importantly, I'm grateful that everyone is all right. Now, if we could only do something about that statue. Hmm? Hmm? You there, are you a traveler? I'm sorry that I did not notice you until now. I was focused on a matter of great importance. Zoro's domain is in troubled times at present due to the sludge falling from the sky. Things have finally calmed down, at least for the moment. However, this place remains covered in sludge. Such a shame, as the particular statue is, is so incredibly important to the Zora of the, of the domain. Who are you? I don't think I recognize you. We were just discussing how we need to wash away the sludge. I apologize that I cannot provide a great deal of hospitality. Please do make yourself at home here. The sludge covered statue. You have arrived in Zora's domain only to find its people struggling with sludge falling from the sky. The statue in the center of the domain holds significance to the Zora and it's stripping with sludge. Well, I do know of one way to help with that. But let's talk to you again. It would be most expedient or expedient to use the splash fruit to wash off the sludge. However, we have already used all the fruit that was at our disposal. If this statue remains sullied, I fear that everyone will lose hope before long. We must find a way to wash off this sludge. I think that is definitely something I can help with. Okay, I didn't know if they would have anything more to say as like individuals. Okay, let's try this out then. Um, I wanna go here. I have a lot of splash fruit, so. Have I tossed that at you? That fixed it. Is that good enough? It is. So there's our nice statue of Sidon. And look who's on the back of him. Oh. The sludge. I see you managed to wash it away. That statue is a symbol of hope for the Zora. It is very precious to us. Thank you so much for cleaning it up. Yes. In truth, that statue depicts the majestic forms of the pair who saved this cherished domain in the past. <laughs> that is right, beloved Prince Sidon of the Zora and his very best friend, Sir Link, the heroic Hylian swordsman. Aw, best friends. It is simply wonderful, is it not? How would I love to meet him someday? Say, you have a familiar stature to the Hylian hero. Some more eyes as well. Oh my, and you are also a Hylian. And a swordsman. Wait, could it be? It is. Are you Link, the swordsman of legend? <clears throat> please remember to mind your manners, Kuruma. Oh, um, please accept my apology. No problem. Yes. yes, please pardon our rudeness. Whoa. I'm quite surprised to learn that you are the legendary swordsman, Sir Link. I have heard mention of you nearly every day since I first arrived at this domain. I am Prince Sidon's, oh, forgive me. I'm your best friend's fiance. My name is Yana. <laughs> I'm truly honored to have the opportunity to meet you, Sir Link. It's nice to meet you too, Yana, caretaker to the Zora. Interesting. I had heard that you were missing along with Princess Zelda. If I may ask, what brings you here? Well, we're checking out all the strange phenomena. To think that such a thing took place beneath Hyrule Castle, and now you're traveling to the kingdom or the kingdom to investigate. Mm. So you, your search for Princess Zelda is what brought you to this domain. Sure. In that case, feel free to investigate the area around the domain as thoroughly as you see fit. Oh, I have a lovely idea. If you do, do not mind, I ask that you please go and meet with Sidon. I'm certain that he would be delighted to see you. Sidon can be found at Mifa Court, located at the peak of Ploymus Mountain. Whoa. Way up there, huh? Whoa. Lady Yona, it is time. I fear we must be going now. Hmm. Forgive me, Sir Link, but I must be on my way. Well, it's nice meeting you. Mm -hmm. Ah, but if, if it pleases you, after you've met with Sidon, perhaps you can visit me at the infirmary on the floor above. I'm determined to be of assistance to you as best as I can, Sir Link. All right, the sludge-covered statue complete. And with it, we met uh, Yona, Sidon of the Sora. 
So we got a lot going on here. First, let's check out, you know, our completed little quest there. Uh, the sludge covered statue. You rinse away the sludge in the center of the domain, revealing a statue that depicts you and the venerated Zora Prince Sidon. This statue is a new symbol of hope for the Zora people, and they are overjoyed now that it is properly restored. I'm glad. And then of course, Sidon of the Zora. After the upheaval, sludge started pouring from the sky around Zora's domain. That foul gunk has caused much suffering. Yona, the Zora Prince's fiance, filled you in on the troubles at the domain. She asked you to meet with Sidon at Mipha Court on the summit of Poimus Mountain. And of course, our new entry for Yona. A royal Zora from another domain. Known for her kindness, she was Sidon's childhood friend and is now his fiance. She, begin, she began assisting the resident of Zora's domain in their efforts to combat the sludge as soon as it arrived. A match for Sidon's selfless compassion, she dedicates herself to helping the citizens of the domain. That's so cool. So I'm glad that, you know, Sidon and Yona seem pretty happy. So we'll have to figure out how to get to, Z or to Sidon and help out more Zora's domain in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.